Hello Scorpio, how are you? So Scorpio, I am doing your August 2021 reading. Now Scorpio, this energy is in your 10th house of career, fame, you know, father figures, bosses, but also how you're shining. So, how are you doing Scorpio? How are you feeling? So Scorpio, you know, that most that's where your energy is, especially when we have like the full moon, the new moon, which is in your 10th house. This will be a great time for initiating like a new career switch, you know, whether you want to be your own boss or working for a new organization. Um, you know, they, all could, they also can be, you know, they also can be some like frustration happening because, you know, Leo season, it does square you. And, you know, squares can make you work extra hard. You may feel that this month you're working so hard to get to where you want to get to. You know, if you if you are working, you know, your bosses could be like on your plate, making you do things all over again. And, you know, you know that you're doing a lot. So some of you may even just decide that you want to just do something by yourself or just have a big change within yourself and why not we have the full moon which is in your fourth house and this full moon is a big ending it's at 29 degrees and that's a really critical degree so it's going to be a huge ending and you know there can be lots of like emotions coming up when it comes to your the past you know your mother um, you know, things that are concerned like your roots and home, but also like your self-care practices. You know, the fourth house is very security conscious house. So if you are holding on to anything that you need to let go of when it comes to like the past, you know, this new moon will make, may be very, it may be very quick, it may be very active. You may be, it may be very sudden, you know, you may not know what hits you. OK, especially if you refuse or you've been stubborn to hold on to it. And this could be any goals or dreams or also anything that you like to hold on to because you like to revisit it. You like to overanalyze it and you know it's not helping you. It's time to let it go. OK, we have the sun. It goes into Virgo and it's in your 11th house. Now, the sun in your 11th house is about your goals, dreams, you know. So some of you could actually be quite fixated when it comes to like your goals and dreams. You know, um, moving from the 10th house to your 11th, you know, there might be, you might be very, you know, you don't be surprised if you find yourself quite nitpicky when it comes to like your groups and friends and even nitpicky towards yourself. Remember, if you are criticizing your um, friends or your, you know, organization that you join, it's mostly down to you, the insecurity that you have within you. But also, if you do find that there's something wrong, you won't be afraid to say it. Okay. But still, you know, this will be also a great time for you to like join or even think about or revisit goals that you actually wanted to do. You know, because this year, all you've, you, all you fixed signs are getting it quite harsh anyway. So some of you have let goals go because you're dealing with like internal issues so when the sun highlights this it's good to like sort of revisit them and maybe even start it a bit and things that have come up in your past because of Saturn in your fourth house and you know the full moon in your fourth house you know you might think oh these are the things I actually wanted to do now I can sort of revisit and do them which is actually really good you never know what can come up now so that's a little bit about the astro. Obviously, there's more. I'll be talking more about that, you know, like a full in-depth when these planets talks really highlights as well. So we're on to your card. These general messages here. The first card you've got is the Queen of Gabriel. Now, the Queen of Gabriel is the Queen of Wands. And the message here is saying you can do anything right now. You know, go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. So this is about standing in your power, especially the sun highlight in your 12th house, standing in your power, going for what you want. It's not about not being afraid. It's about where you see your future. OK, because, you know, I so I feel some of you Scorpions are not very happy at the moment. There's, there's, there's a stiltedness happening. 
and it's, you haven't lost your power it's just that you've just felt very still so if an opportunity comes up now and it's really for you go for it you know you're not going to be it's not going to interfere with anything in your life you know you can say the passionate charming brilliant independent this is you scorpio you know did, did, and I, I feel that any opportunities that do come is going to give you a sense of independence as well. You're not going to feel that you're going to have these great um, overly responsibilities that are happening. Okay, so you really, if you if you trust and believe in anything this month, you can actually get it. Regardless if, you know, even if, even if like Leo squares you, Leo actually helps you to shine. So if you go for a job interview or if you are around people that are like you know that will give opportunities you can actually shine it's all about remembering it the second card that you have is the four of michael which is the four of swords now the message here is insights that come from quiet meditation the need for more sleep of or time off seek relief from stress so this is a card that is very much a mind card is a very it's a card that you know the four of swords it does bring stresses and strains but also it's to do with what's going on really deep inside you so if you find this month that you know even though opportunities do come or you're seeking opportunities it can actually cause you to overthink it's time to relax try and try to relax try to do some you know breath work meditation you know being a, away from people for some of you scorpions i feel may be around people that are very overly ambitious at the moment when the sun highlights a certain house in your chart sometimes you can find you're around that like if it's in your fourth house you're going to be around emotional sensitive people but if you're it's in the tenth that means it's a being surrounded by people that are like on the job and they're very obsessive about jobs and you may find that you're very obsessed too if it just gets too much it's just time to step back and relax it's time to also, you know, not be afraid to say, you know what, I just need a bit of time out, you know, because it can make you just get too obsessed and you start to like, it can make you also feel very insecure. And if you want to be at your best, you need to be very calm. So, you know, take time out this month as well, especially things or people um, or even like you, you're searching for something just gets a little bit too much. When it comes to like your emotional state for this month, you have a win-win outcome is forecast and it's the full moon in Libra. And Libra is actually rules your 12th house. So, and you see there's a scales there. So when it says a win-win outcome, there may be, there's lots of decisions that emotionally you have to make. This decision could be, you know, two jobs. Um, you're weighing up the pros and cons of the jobs but also it could be a relationship and the job it could also be yeah i feel it's those two you know it could be more it could be other things you know that's going on but i do feel those are the ones that actually came to my mind so when it says a win-win outcome is forecast you know whatever you choose you're gonna it's, it's a win for you you know um but it, you, you you can feel a bit little bit oh it, it can feel that you're quite confused as well so really go for the first thing that comes to your mind you know really listen to your intuition because you're one of the most psychic signs of the zodiac when it comes to like your love life this month you have ooh, <laughs> children and it's saying your love life is being affected by children <laughs> so if some of you scorpions are parents and you want to get you know jiggy with your partner Obviously, this can be, you know, there can be lots of interruptions. But also, I feel it's saying, you know, if you are in a, if you're in a new relationship or seeking a relationship, seeking a relationship could be because you want to have kids. Or, you know, if you're in a new relationship, you could be talking about kids. But still, it can be affecting things as well, because one of you may be wanting, wanting it. One of you may not really be sure. So if you ask, if you, if there is any tension or arguments that's happening, it may be to do with children. So it's about trying to find balance, which you have with this card emotionally. But still, you know, re it's what you want, you know. So sometimes when someone wants something and someone else doesn't want it, it's about reaching a compromise. And it might be quite hard this month because it is very much about career. 
So I think there's a lot of conversations that definitely need to be had if for those of you who are in a relationship and especially if it's new as well. Some of you may be even thinking about kids for a very long time as well. And you don't necessarily have to have kids with a partner, you know, because times are different now. But just know, you know, remember these are guides. So this this could come up. It may not be. It could be something else in the relationship. But this is what this card is saying. So it's a very, you know, it's, it's quite a challenging month, Scorpio. But still, it's a month of, you know, figuring out your future and your career. And also, you know, weighing out the pros and cons and... You know, decisions need to be made. Okay. So, Scorpio, that was your August 2021 reading. I hope you enjoyed this message. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And check out Empath Butterflies Tarot, who does readings on love and general for all the signs. So, thank you very much, Scorpios. And I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.